Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Assault Guide. In this video we're going to look at different loadouts in the Assault class alongside tips and tricks to make you the best Assault player possible. So what is the Assault class actually for? Now as you can see in the background, it's all about getting a combination of damage to vehicles and to infantry. You're the guy with all the close range firepower, you need to be on the front line, getting in the faces of enemies and capping flags. Now of course some maps in Battlefield 1 are better suited to the Assault class. My favourite map, and the one that I'm seeing used a lot in custom server rotations, is Army Arm. This map is just brilliant for the Assault class, lots of vehicles to take down, you don't have to worry about things in the air, and also close quarters engagements with lots of cover. It's an all round fantastic experience. When it comes to the weapons in Battlefield 1, you have a wide variety as you can see on screen now. Ranging from shotguns to submachine guns, the Assault class offers you quite a decent amount of close to medium range weaponry. You're not going to find too many things in this class that can deal damage at longer ranges, but of course, you're an Assault player, you're going to be in the front line, you're going to be in the faces of enemies. Picking the right weapon for the right map is essential, and getting to know a couple of them is what I'd recommend so you can quickly switch between them in different situations. The first weapon I'm going to look at is the Hellregal 1915 Factory. Now I've got an extensive weapon review and guide that will be linked in the description down below. I definitely recommend checking that out if you want to know more in-depth stats about the Hellregal. Just quickly for those who don't want to watch that though, it's a very good all-rounder weapon. It might be beaten in stats by the MP18 Trench and it might not have the range of the experimental or the close range capabilities of the Automatico or Shotgun, but overall it's a solid all-rounder. Even since the patch where they did nerf the horizontal recoil just making it a little bit more difficult to use, the gun is still fairly good at what I use it for, which is closer range engagements. If you're using it for longer range stuff, you've got to tap fire and the gun's not so good. Now of course to unlock this gun you have to be Assault Class Rank 10, so you might have to use a couple of other guns first in order to get it, but I definitely recommend doing so. It's a very fun weapon to use and something that I suggest everyone has a go with before they make a decision. At the other end of the spectrum we can see the Model 10A, and in this clip we're running the Hunter variant, the one that I would suggest that you run. We're also running it without a bayonet as well because that makes your soldier slightly faster when he aims down sight towards enemies. This gun is absolutely brutal at close ranges and if you're playing a map such as Argon Forest there's really no reason to run anything else. It is just superb and assuming that you can actually hit your shots you will be unstoppable. Finally I'd like to look at the MP18 Trench as another pick. This weapon is very very good at virtually everything as long as you can control your bursts and you make sure that you're hitting your first shot as i said before it's just a fantastic weapon to use it's got a quick reload it's got a decent amount of bullets in the magazine and you're also dealing around the same damage as you would with the hell regal at those close to medium ranges you're also going to receive a slower fire rate than the hell regal but to be honest it's not that noticeable it's only noticeable when comparing it to an automatico which has a ridiculously high fire rate One thing I would definitely recommend when running the Assault class is trying to locate yourself in a squad with a couple of other teammates that are willing to play the objective with you and help you out. As an Assault player, your job is to be on the front line. Even if there are no vehicles, the Assault class is a great one for rushing enemies and taking them down. Just because of the machine guns that you get, you're going to pretty much out damage any medic that's in your way. And of course the medic guns are very effective if you hit your shots, but let's be honest, a lot of people aren't that great at aiming in this game, so having a machine gun is just a brilliant alternative. Now if you've got a medic in your team the idea is with this game is the assault rushes in and the medic just stays a little bit behind. The guns have slightly better range, the medic guns that is, 
and then they can just run in, throw some med bags. If you are unlucky enough to die, they are there just to back you up and revive you. That's how the medic picks up the points and the kills. If you were to have a support with you as well, that could be fantastic because they can obviously drop you ammo. As everybody knows, the support class is supposed to drop ammo. And trust me, when you have a squad with all the different combinations of medic and support, you're going to be unstoppable. As for the gadgets in class, you're going to be using the AT rocket gun, dynamite and anti-tank grenade. These are my favourite three. In this clip in the background, you can see me using the AT rocket gun and if used correctly, it's an absolute beast. Light tanks and lightly armoured cars are going to stand absolutely no chance and it also offers a great alternative to taking down horses if you go prone or camping enemies behind walls. The anti-tank grenade can also be used in infantry engagements, you get two of them, you can throw them into little doorways and stuff like that, it almost acts as an extra anti-personnel grenade and you can do a lot of damage blasting through walls and it's just a great all-rounder, I would definitely suggest using this. If of course you're running with the shotgun then maybe switching over to the dynamite instead of the rocket gun it could be a good idea because you're in those closer range engagements but overall I'm liking the anti-tank and the rocket gun at this moment in time. Now when it comes to taking down vehicles in Battlefield 1, you are given a couple of different ways of doing so. As you can see in the background, I've got a little highlight reel of some of the tank takedowns that I've had in this game, which kind of offer different ways of taking down vehicles. Now of course you've got the old fashioned sneaky way with the dynamite, where you hear a tank in the distance, you set a trap, and as the tank comes past, you blow it up. It's a brilliant tactic, especially on maps such as Amion, you can also use it on Sinai Desert as you saw with the canyon, it's a very very constricted place for a tank to be. They don't want to be there and of course if they miss it they're gonna die it's a very useful thing to do i'd suggest giving it a try but also remember you're at a bit of a disadvantage if the tank does see it you're pretty much screwed and you're gonna get killed another option is to go for the long range rocket gun approach as you can see in the background again on Sinai desert i've picked up an artillery truck in the distance and i'm taking him out the only problem with this method is you have to hit your shots but you can engage at a pretty decent range and it might take quite a few seconds before the enemy vehicle spots you if it's a fridge or a land ship you can just flank behind it because obviously the turrets can't look behind leaves you in a very very good position a light tank will take more damage with one of these rocket guns but remember they have a turret unless they're using the howitzer loadout they'll be able to turn around and pretty much end you straight away so working with a teammate another rocket gun maybe somebody with cable it so they can't repair is a great option the best way to approach this sort of situation, in my opinion, is to run with a combination of things. Always throw your grenade, then go prone and fire your rocket gun, getting that double hit. Try and get your grenades to actually hit the tank as well, because then they will detonate immediately. If you throw them just in front, of course you have to wait for the tank to drive over the grenade before it will explode. This isn't as effective, and of course it gives the tank time to run away because the grenade will appear on his screen. Also bear in mind that some tanks have a quick repair feature, this means that if you're going to throw a grenade and it hits them, they can then repair instantly and you won't have enough ammo to take them down. Now as you saw throughout this video, running that combination process is just brilliant, you can end the tank virtually instantly, and if you're running with teammates or another vehicle on your team, it's just unstoppable and tanks do not stand a chance. Hopefully you enjoyed this assault guide, I'm going to do another one for the medic, the support, and the recon class in the near future if you did enjoy please leave a like down below and let me know your favorite assault class gun in the comments thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next video